This time I'm going to show you a different shot of Hamnoi. We reach Hamnoi right after we leave the second tunnel. We can park in one of two spots. First is at the bus stop, at the very end of it, just make sure you don't interrupt any buses. The second one is on the street to the right, at the small hill, with the huge white tank on top of it. To get to the beach, we follow wooden racks, which are used to dry fish in spring and summer. It takes a really short walk, maybe 2-3 minutes, and we end up on the rocky beach. We have a very bright sky, very dark foreground, Therefore, we use a ND4 gradual neutral density filter to darken the sky. From time to time, there are fishing vessels approaching the harbor. This is the moment we want to catch with this incredible sky and the huge mountains in the back. Okay, so we're going to start with straightening the horizon a little bit. And I want to crop this image a little bit because we have a little bit too much of the dark rocks on the bottom. So we're going to try to put this fishing boat on the right third, something like that. All right. So we start with lowering the highlights, increasing the shadows, maybe that, maybe a little bit, should be okay. I'm going to increase the contrast, should be okay. And now we want to do two things, we're going to use the split toning module. We're going to warm the sky because there was a lot of very warm sun creeping through the clouds. We don't want this effect to take place in the foreground, that's why we're going to cool it down a little bit. So right now I want to focus on the fishing boat a little bit to bring out the reds a little bit more. So we're going to use the brush tool, just briefly paint over the fishing boat. And now we're going to use the range mask just to include the reds. So we use the color picker. We highlight just a fragment with the red. So we see that the range mask only applies to the reds. In order to make the reds pop, we're going to first increase the exposure a little bit. Now we're going to go to the HSL panel and we're going to increase the saturation of the reds. These are very minor changes, 
but it changes the look and feel of the image. And that's it. Image is ready.